Hi everybody, William Long here on Drum Studio. Just wanted to do a little gear tutorial on uh, 42 strand snares. Most snare drums come with the 20 strands. Uh, that's 20 wires on a metal band on the bottom of your snare drum. Uh, depending on the tension, you can get a lot of different tones out of the snare drum. I really enjoy using a 42 strand because I feel like I get a lot more body out of the snare drum and I get a lot more of that buzz sound. You know, it sounds a little fatter, a little warmer, um, especially when it's ran through a microphone live or even in the studio. Um, and it really shines when you do low tuning on a snare drum. Um, on this one though, uh, I did medium tension tuning on my snare drum, uh, medium high, it'd probably be a little high pitch for a lot of people. I think it's kind of medium, but everybody's ears a little different. So I did a bunch of different tensions. Uh, you're gonna see me playing on the top of the snare drum with each tension, rim shot while playing a groove. And then you're gonna see me playing ghost notes with the rim shot while playing a groove. So you'll get three different types of scenarios that you would be hitting your snare drum um, while you're playing on the set to really get a feel for how much body and a difference a 42 strand could make. Now, if I had a 20 strand, which I don't, because I kind of got rid of them or gave them to other people, ever since I got a 42 strand, it's just, I, I, there's no going back. I kind of made this video for a lot of the people that I've told that I use 42 strand snares, and they're kind of like, eh, I don't know. That seems like it would choke the snare drum, or things like that. and. You know, it really doesn't choke the drum. In fact, it gives it a lot more body to the drum. If you tighten up the tension with the snares, your pitch is going to go up. Oh, I got hiccups. Oh, uh, hiccups. Whew. That was short. Okay. Where was I? Ah, uh, yes. So, just with any time you put tension on the drum, um, the pitch is going to go up. So... In this case, that is an issue. Now, something you can do to combat that, tune your drum up to the tension that you like, crank the snares as high as you can and see what pitch it pulls it up to. And if it's not very desirable, and if you're gonna have the snares that tight, then you kind of tune down to the pitch that you actually like from the bottom head. That way, when you do crank it up that tight, it's at a desirable tone. And if you go down and you lighten it, the tonality should even be good with lighter tension on the snare. So yeah, at any rate, let's get to the video samples. Yeah. For this example, I'll be using the Remo Power Stroke P77 coated and a Remo Ambassador snare side. Light tension. Okay, so we're gonna turn it up a couple more notches. Got three. Let's see what that sounds like. cranks. All right, let's see what that sounds like.
right, three notches up. Let's see what this sounds like. Three more marks. Let's see what this sounds like. So this is the tightest tension on the snares, Let's see what it sounds like. Low tension. Let's tighten it up three notches. One, two, three. I'm gonna do a beat, but I'm gonna add some ghost notes to it. Low tension. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep, that's the size it's getting. Just so you know, uh, I use the Tama 42 strand snares. And this was a uh, 1960s Ludwig snare. I've had this since I was five years old when I first started playing drums. I am a little over half its age. Mm -hmm. Do the math. At any rate, thanks for watching. I hope it uh, became a very useful resource. And go out, pick up a pair of these. They're pretty cheap. You know, Gibraltar, it's like 15 bucks, which is not that bad for some nice snares. Check them out. See if you like them. If not, eh, it's only 15 bucks. Maybe you got another snare drum you can put it on. Definitely try it on your bigger snares and try it with some low tuning. That's when it sounds really nice and tasty, big and fat. So hopefully you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.